Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time I'm catching you at. It is good to be teaching you again today on April 7th. It's a Tuesday um, and we're working through some really great stuff. There's some announcements today. There's a lot of things to talk about. So I'm going to go ahead and jump on into Google Classroom. I'm on our classwork. I'm going to jump into the Turnin doc. I'm going to open up the Turnin document that I'm going to fill out. And I'm going to open up the presentation. Alrighty, to get things started off, I got a question of the day for you. Today, if you wanted to communicate with someone and you did not speak the same language, that's key, right? You don't speak the same language. How would you communicate with them? All right? What would you do? What would you use? Would you use anything that we have today? Question number two says, if you did not have technology, what would you do? How would you talk to them? How would you communicate with them? You're going to write your response in the worksheet and in Google Classroom. That's going to happen right here. All right. So make sure you write your answers here. Okay. And then make sure you respond in Google Classroom. Say who you responded to and what did you say? Did you? Uh, and remember, I agree does not count. It needs to be a complete thought. All righty. Go ahead and do that, pause the video, and come on back. Talk to you soon. Great job with that. The next thing I wanted to do is I wanted to go over some announcements. And I think I did it like this, yeah. So first thing you should know is the grading period ends tomorrow. Grades are updated, and many students have not made up their Christ Commanded essay or their mural. So a lot of students have Bs, and there are some Cs out there. So it's not too late to make that up. You can make that up today if you'd like. Just send me an email when you're done fixing any of the errors that you have. Grading, let's talk about grading. So um, I had a meeting yesterday and if you've done a good job on this distance learning kind of activities, the worksheets every day, you're gonna get a four for the next intentional practice grade, which is what we use for the notebook check grade, right? If you have not, you'll get an E, and E means excused, and that means it won't hurt your grade and it won't help your grade. Why? Why will you get an E and not a three or two or a one? It's because technically I'm not allowed to grade you for what we've done for distant learning, but I want to. Uh, I want to give you credit if you've been doing all this work. I want to give you uh, extra points. Other things, all assignments can be graded starting Monday, April 13th, so this coming Monday. Everything can and will be graded, alrighty? So make sure you're doing the work, especially starting Monday. Also, there are going to be some slight changes to the rubric for the magazine project. I'll get those out to you probably on Monday, um, but it is still due, all right? So don't worry too much, just keep working on it, but there are gonna be some slight changes to the rubric, okay? Last but not least, um, there's two links here. Miss E, our librarian, has worked really hard to try to make everybody's, uh, everybody get a chance to do work at home. So she made a video on Scholar Cards, which is a, a library tool. It's a way to get access to eBooks, movies, TV shows, and all that great stuff. Even if you don't have your library card, she's got a method on there for how you can get access to that stuff. Also, if you checked out a Chromebook or you're borrowing a Chromebook from the school, she's got some uh, video on tips on how to fix the Chromebooks and make them work faster. Alrighty, so check those out if, you, uh, if you'd like. Alrighty, we're going to use a new tool today. It's called Quizzes. It's like Kahoot, but it's got a leaderboard. It's pretty cool. I'm going to do these directions too. So we're going to go to this link. We're going to sign in with Google and we're going to play the West African review and we're going to try to be at the top of the leaderboards. I'm going to go ahead and open up this link. All right. I invited me to a class. Um, I, I'm already a quiz uh, quizzes member. So you might need to click sign in with Google. You can put your address in. And when they ask for your parents um, or guardian email address, you can put it in or you can just hit accept invite. All right, it's optional. So I'm gonna hit accept invite and I'm in. And as you can see, I've assigned you one game to play. All right, so it's due by tomorrow. So get it done, all right? So you can click on this um, and you can, I've already played the game once, but you can choose sound effects, memes. You can have it read out loud to you if you're tired of reading for whatever reason. And you could play the game. Like I said, it's like a Kahoot, except for there's a leaderboard. All right, so we'll see who's in first place tomorrow. That's gonna be exciting for me. 
All right, I'll let you do that. Come on back to the video when you're done. Go. All right, there's another question in Google Classroom. What, another question? Yeah, there's another question. So we had the question of the day before, all right? And now there's a question on quizzes, all right? It's a debrief on quizzes. So answer the question pretty much. Do you like quizzes? What do you think of quizzes? Would you like to do more of them? Just give me your, uh, your response um, and then also post your response right here. What do you think of quizzes? Make sure you post your response here. I'll be reading those to see if you liked them or didn't like them. Go ahead and do that and come back to the video. The next thing we're gonna talk about is today's gonna be a writing day, so I wanted to give you a writing example. Alrighty, uh, this is a student who wrote about uh, the atomic and nuclear bombs. So read this paragraph and answer these two questions. If you wanna fast forward, you can. I'm just gonna read the paragraph out loud for some people, all right? It goes like this. There were only two times when the bombs were used on people. These two bombings were the bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. These two bombings were both in World War II by the United States of America. The first bombing was on the Japanese city Hiroshima because the United States was trying to make the Japanese surrender. A 1998 study said that there were 202,118 people died in the first bombing. However, the Japanese didn't surrender. So the U.S. bombed them again, and then the Japanese finally surrendered. After the Japanese surrendered, the Americans signed a peace treaty with Japan and became allies. Answer the two questions, and then you're going to post your answers into Google Classroom. All right, so we have writing example one, question one, and writing example question two. If you're trying to find that writing example and you can't see it here, and you don't see it here, you can click the link and it'll take you straight to this slide, okay? So answer these two questions. It's about in-text citations. Make sure you have the right answer, all right? Check and see what other people wrote. If you're the first person in your class, check later to see what other people wrote. See if you're correct, right? If somebody's incorrect, go ahead and tell them. Be like, hey, I think you're, you're, you're wrong. Take a look at my answer, all right? Go ahead and do that and come back to the video. The rest of the class is going to be dedicated for you to work on your history magazine project because your third paragraph is due tomorrow. Remember, this is going to be a four to five paragraphs, so you're almost done with this thing. All right, so your third paragraph is due tomorrow. If you need help, please feel free to make an appointment with me, Mr. Lieberman. It's really easy. You click the link, you choose a time, and that's pretty much it, right? You choose a time. You can see any day this week, anytime between 11 and I have 320 here, but uh, let me know if uh, you feel free to email me if that, any of these times don't work for you. Alrighty. And if you're finished, try to find somebody to peer review your essay. All right. You have a lead editor. You can ask them to peer review your essay. They'll get credit for it. Look at AWW. So, um, if you haven't contacted your lead editor and given them a link to your history magazine, complete doc, which is on Google classroom, you need to do that, all right? They're checking in on you. They're making sure you're, you're, you're doing well, all right? And if you're lost or confused or behind with this project, please contact me. I'm here to help. I'm available, all righty? The last thing I'm going to show, share with you are some due dates. So like I said, the third paragraph is due tomorrow. All the writing should be finished by Monday. So if you finish that third paragraph and want to go ahead and write your conclusion paragraph, go for it, all right? Your image, because remember magazines have a picture, is gonna be due on Thursday. You can find that online. I'm gonna be giving you more instructions on that on probably Monday or Tuesday, okay? Last but not least, your final project to get a four is due Friday, April 17th. That's it for class today. I hope it's not too short, but I hope, I hope I'm giving you a lot of time to work on your writing. I hope this writing example helps. Take care, everybody. Stay safe there. And feel free, like I said, to look at the links that Miss E sent out. She made some really good videos on how to create a scholar card, which is uh, free audiobooks, videos, movies. You can even, yeah, yes, you can check out movies and stuff there. It's pretty cool. Um, and if you have a Chromebook at home and you're having some performance issues, it's not working very fast, try out, try out this video, okay? Have a great day, everybody. It was great talking to you all. Take care, and I'll be talking to you again tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye-bye.